There are lots of massive stars in the universe that are much bigger than our sun. When they run out of fuel and die, they go out with a bang. A huge bang, a supernova that throws matter into space in every direction. Whatever survives cools down and turns into a really dense neutron star which starts emitting powerful pulses of radiation. Then it starts spinning rapidly. This is a pulsar. After traveling billions and billions of miles, the radiation lands right on the large radio telescope of Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Puzzled by these strange patterns, she consulted her supervisor, Anthony Hewish, to help her figure out what it was. He initially doubted her, assuming it was man-made interference, but after seeing the patterns for himself, he was convinced and worked with Bell Burnell to discover its source. She would jokingly label the pulses LGM as if the sources were communications from little green men. With better equipment, they were able to find more similar patterns and determined that they came from those spinning neutron stars, pulsars. Bell Burnell's supervisors were awarded a Nobel Prize for the discovery, but she was excluded because she was a research student and a woman, which made her seem less important in the science world at the time. Many scientists protested this decision, calling it the Nobel Prize. Bell Burnell's challenges started as early as childhood. At school, girls were made to learn cooking and cross-stitching instead of science until her parents challenged the school policy. While working at Cambridge, she suffered imposter syndrome and felt pressure to prove herself. Fortunately, she said that she turned it into a motivation that helped lead to her discovery. Many years later, in 2018, she was awarded the Special Breakthrough Prize for her unrecognised work. She generously used all of the $3 million prize money to establish a fund to help female, minority and refugee students become physicists. She thought that if there was more diversity in physics, she wouldn't have suffered imposter syndrome as badly. Pulsars can be used for pulsar navigation using their X-rays to locate spacecrafts. They can also be used for extremely precise clocks, and physicists use them to test theories about gravity.